and he drops his sledgehammer. Who's it on from the crowd? Too good. Almost as fun as having courtside seats was our visit to the NBA. Hi, welcome. I'm Melissa Brenner. I'm Bing. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I'm Carlton. Carlton. You excited about your day at the NBA? Yes. yes. Well, let's get started. Come on in. This is our digital command center. Every night we are watching the games live and checking all of our social media feeds. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and then even Chinese uh, platforms such as Sina and, and Tencent. This is a pretty crucial nerve center for the league. I'm going to be majoring in biology and mathematics. Wow. You went to Penn. Oh. Yeah. How did that shape you as an individual? When I started in college, I wanted to be a doctor. And I had a sit down conversation with my, my dad. His whole message to me was to find something you love and you're really passionate about. And I, I just wasn't as passionate about medicine as I thought I was gonna be. So I became, with that conversation, I became a history major. Attending Penn, it really shaped who I am as a professional as well as I've made lifelong friends from my time at Penn. I will also be attending you, Penn. This oh, this you're fall. kidding! <laughs> That's awesome. Also awesome is having papa shots in the office because there's no room for a full court. My big dream, of course, was to play in the NBA, but I've had to move on. It's a lot of kids dream to play in the NBA, but yeah. to your point, it's incredibly challenging. But hopefully through our tour here, you'll see there's a lot of other places that you can be involved in the NBA other than, than, than playing. As a first generation college student, the conversation with college in my family was um, always fairly ambiguous and always new. So how was the conversation of college in your family? It was expected that I went to college. I think what was unique is in my mother's generation, most women became nurses or teachers or secretaries. Those are all great careers. But the conversation was about you know, what other opportunity there were, particularly for women, um, in the workforce. Like many other teenagers, I use Instagram every day, and I find it to be a great resource. So how do you see um, social media evolving in, in the decades to come? Social media has fundamentally changed how we communicate, and it's a balance to me in getting people to still look up from their devices and interact, and I think sports is a good way in for that because it's a communal experience. Why do you support programs like the College Bound Initiative? I came from a very small town where not a lot of people went to college, let alone to an Ivy League college. And to the extent that through my professional career, I'm able to help students like you go on and, and realize your professional dreams, like that to me is what this program should all be about. Now about those other jobs at the NBA, check out the amazing Replay Center. From every one of our 29 arenas, we have nine camera angles coming into this room. So if there's any time during a game where there's a question about a call, the referees will go to the monitor courtside and they'll communicate directly to this room. A, a play in Los Angeles, the decision could be made right here. If I could do an instant replay, I would go back, I would go back, I would go back and spend another day at the NBA.